Hello, hello guys, welcome to week number two of the UBL where we're up against Skulldua Dragon and his um, New York and Polians and I will show you his team because I forgot to put it up again, like, that is his team, that's my team, his team is Gary and it was a struggle to try and build for this match but I will quickly go over what, what I have because we are about to jump into quite soon. And um, first of all, whoops, we have Zapdos. Um, we were testing out a defensive Zapdos and it just, the problem was is things like Heracross and Charizard, they could just come in and they could Molly Wobby. So this is actually a modest, fully invested Zapdos that outspeeds an Adam and Heracross because realistically he has no reason for Charizard, Crocodile or Heracross to be plus B nature because of my speed tiers. Which is a bit unfortunate, but um, that is that is life. Uh, <laughs> so we have the Zapdos that can kind of it, it can basically two hit KO everything, which could prove really valuable. And you know, Asian power. If that for some reason gets off, then I'm just going to say Zapdos can clean the game all by itself. Then we have Lantern because Tapu Koko has a problem, and Lantern is the saving grace for dealing with Tapu Koko. Of course, he can not have C Doom like it is his C Captain. Something we might have to scan off for if we don't see an item, but still like protect, gaining health, wall switch, get out of there, skull, getting some damage off, toxic to wear things like Slowbro and Kudal or Coco or whatever down basically, whatever he could could have. We have Dianzi, or little uh, nice and Harry Potter references in the nickname. This is a resurrection re resurrection stone. Get it? He's, she's black. So yeah, we have Dianzi. Um, and you know how I said that I want to draft Donphan because it was such a reliable rocker and now I'm bringing Stealth Rock on Dianzi for the second time in a row. The thing is just like for Dianzi, like it forces switches so it's easy to get them up. And then again, I didn't really need a secondary stab, like particularly because Moonblast and Power Jump hits everything quite hard. And then we have Call Mine so that we can help break something like potentially a slow bro or... It can also, if we have something else that we can set up on, I already forgot what his team is, I can see when we get to it. <laughs> If we get up a call mine, then suddenly like we can really revenge things and we can really break down his team. So that one of our two win conditions, which will be the last ones we go over, it can kind of come in and hopefully be able to finish up the game. Um, we have Donphan, and Donphan was such a struggle to build because we were trying like a defensive one, like just like standard defensive, that didn't work. Then we tried like Custerberry Endeavor and that didn't work. So we ended up with Choice Scarfed, <laughs> Donphan. With EQ play, rough, knockoff, and rabbit spin. It's especially here because Heracross was such a problem. Because I don't have a switch into it. Because if it clicks the right the right move, like it doesn't really matter what I switch into it. Two hit KOs everything. And I don't really you know, one hit KO too many things in return. And the problem is yeah, Diane's can take it out quite easily. We can all agree on that. But if he clicks close combat, Diane's is dead. <laughs> Just saying it playing out, Diane's is dead. Um here hopefully the thing is if he if he brings it he clicks some kind of move. I go into Donphan, he might think it as a sack because it, it might not have the best matchup or something. And then like we can surprise him with a uh, play rough or something. Or in like like gaming, if Crocodile isn't, you know, isn't Scarf, then we can also speed that. And if we can, I no, we don't have speed Charizard, so never mind that. But we can, we can hopefully take something by surprise because I was struggling so much with Aracross in practice. Then we have Sirius, our little Psychat, making his debut. Thousand Arrows, EQ, RH, and Extreme Speed. Like, our Thousand Arrows, when, you know, Scummery is there, we don't really want to be immune. Earthquake just to get more damage off, because it's a lot better against things like Charizard. And then RH, Extreme Speed. I mean, if Coco and Scummery is away, and we can log ourselves into RH, then obviously it's the best choice. Extreme Speed, if for some reason we lose the Choice Scarf, or it's... I don't know, like if we get Skullpeed down to a very low amount and we have to lock ourselves into E speed and something, then then that does that's also a thing. Basically, like it's here to kind of like when have have some kind of goal that when we shift things down, that we get to this point that this thing can go in and clean up. And it's kind of the same with Cinnaroll, which has Fire Punch, Dark Slariat, C Snatch, and Soul Stance. Can also be a Dark and C Dark Slariat. Not as good as the C move, obviously, but um the the the, the Incineroar C move. I guess a little bit of love damage, but the hope is to, to get into some scenario where we can click Siege Snatch, we can click Source Dance, and we can kill everything. So that's basically the goal. I will be back, I will be back when we're about to jump into it. So. Okay, so we are about to jump into it, and I am nervous as heck. Because in case you didn't watch last week, first, I think you should. Second, <clears throat> I need a bit of redemption, and this is not an easy matchup, so... Let's see. He brings Rosamoa and Cryogonal. 
which is kind of surprising. The rest, I, 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 I don't mind too, too much. He has a Charizard, he has Coco, no Sculpey, that's okay. No Crocodile. No Slowbro, Heracross, Rotomo, Kragonal, no Drifflim, and no Licky Licky. Oi! Oi! Someone are behind something. Yeah, there we go, there we go, that's nice. Um, I My plan was originally to lead Lantern. Because it doesn't lose to... What's his face? Um, to Coco, and Coco is kind of a problem. Rotomo is actually a little bit annoying too. Because it's actually pretty good against my team looking at it. Um, the best thing I have is basically Zapdos, I guess. <sighs> Rotomo, Skarmory, just make my own notes so I don't forget. Cherisa X. Nice and Cherisa X and Kragonal. But I guess if he leads Rotom, because that would be the worst case scenario for Lantern, is that he leads Rotom, I can go Incineroar? I guess. I guess. It, it would be annoying. Rotom mode would be annoying and eh, we'll see. <laughs> we will see, we will see, let us see. I put that thing on because then we are. Now we're competitive, now we're ready. I don't know that we are, let's see. Nice and Houndoom shirt, I can appreciate it. I appreciate the sense of style. I wish that I could get a Houndoom shirt, but I can't. So I'm stuck with Team Skull. Linda. That was a Coco, okay. Okay. The thing is, he doesn't have a ground type. He doesn't have crocodile. Like he can go for he can go for like a U-turn or something, and I kinda I could kinda scout. I could scout because what can he go into that threatens me? Rosan? Yeah. Would he has switch? He doesn't really have a reason to. I kind of do. I think I just want to scout. We are playing VGC and we are scouting, so we are going to see. Because if he blows the seam of like grassy, I'm much rather happy. Okay, just U turns. Okay. I, I guess we just click Volt Switch then. <sighs> what would he U turn into? Rosan? Cherusa? Potentially. I mean, if it goes Rotom, we go... Incineroar, I believe. Like, honestly, Incineroar is looking very good. If it, we get it to... Like, he doesn't have Intimidate. He doesn't have his Intimidator. So if we can get to plus two speed or plus two attack... I feel like Incineroar can just... He turns. Okay, we just full switch, so that's fine. We can... Uh, actually, it's not really that great. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's actually not that great. I have to go into... He should U-turn taunt. That didn't do a... Let the 20 U-turn taunt. Okay, it did 20%. I, ca I kinda... I kinda want to see. Hapu ho ho. Hapu ho ho. We are in terrain. We did like 20%. So he has some ball. I can't really say how much, I can just conclude that he does have some. <sighs> I have to go serious. And he can go into Rotom. Yeah. Now I wish I had just scolded. I mean, I'm practically yelling in his face right now that this thing is scuffed, so you you better switch out or you're going to regret it and you will probably go into your road some Sirius is coming after you. <sighs> I could read it hard. Like, I, I, could, I could be the type of person who just, like, reads hard that, hey, you're going to go into road time. And I kind of feel like I want to. I kind of feel like I want to. I will. I will click it. Also, I think, like, Rotom shows that he's really concerned about the Suicune. And the same for the Kragonal. Please double. <laughs> oh, please, please, please switch out. Please, please tell me that I wasn't just super silly for no reason. Uh, we intimidate. 
Oh, uh, he actually U-turn. I could have killed Coco. Well, unless he had, he could have Sugar Berry. He could have he could have Sugar Berry. What does he want to go into though? Charizard? I mean Charizard. How much do we do to Charizard X? I mean, I'm, I I don't feel like using the same one on this thing. I am not going to lie, and Charizard X could actually kind of ruin my life. I mean, I have Donphin in the back. In case. Because I, I definitely see Charizard coming in and just being fat and destroy me life. I, I don't know. He will have some book. He will have some book. I don't know how much book, but he will have some book. Let's just put that in. Yeah, no, we ain't killing that thing. A crit C move would. Like, we can do a lot, but we don't kill it. And I don't, like, Incineroar can really be the win condition, so I, I, I don't want to blow it. I don't want to blow it. <sighs> because what else would he say again? Like, he can't take Heracross? I mean, he can take Heracross, because Heracross is, um... Quite dangerous! Especially with Guts and Flame Orb. I'm clicking close combat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hector, that's a Heracross. Okay. And it's nice and it's flame up. <laughs> it's nice and flame up. That's flame up. Not unexpected. Um, we have the Dunfin for this, but I, I kind of want it to not be too obvious. It, I, I want it to look like I am sacking it. <laughs> oh, please, Dunfin, you absolutely did no work during practice. So please, please. Please, my friend, please. Because he's definitely adamant. We do. We have 12.5% chance of the burn, but he will have one turn of burn. No, yeah, no, no. But he will go down that turn too. Like, then it would take this extra 6%. And it would make sense. And we just go into JK Rowland. And we hope for close combat. We hope for close combat. <laughs> uh, you have no reason not to click it. Stone Edge. Dodging. Um, okay. Was reading the the Zapdos, I think. And here I was just sacking Donphan. I still think I just click EQ. Oh, not EQ. Um, play rough. <laughs> because I, I don't really know what else to do. Like, he can still do a lot. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, what's his player rough switch in? Scummery? Yeah. Scummery take two? Yeah. It does. Definitely. Um, yeah. Like, Donphan is literally only here because of Heracross and because Terrasod is a bit scary, in case Heracross wasn't here. So, um, <laughs> I, I would love for this to work. Please tell us the prep doesn't work. Because as always, I cannot fully take down off building the teams and practicing myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm practicing by battling myself, would not make sense. Obviously, link to assistant coach, always down below. He bodied me week one, so I don't want to play him anymore. <laughs> At least not in leagues, okay? Not in leagues. It's more fun to, to you know. <laughs> I should have him out building. Yeah. Yeah. No who draws. Okay, into what? Louise. Who's Louise? That's the Rosam. We get to see a bit about it. Well, what kind of Rosum are you? That did 30, your leftovers. 30%. We did 30%. So it is pretty darn fat. That's actually pretty darn fat. Like it's not full defense, but it's pretty fat. Um. You could Willow, you could Grass Knot, you could just Volt Switch. I feel like I want to go Septos. Because I have answers for Kragon and I have answers for Coco, but I don't have answers for this thing. So Knockoff would have been nice, but I, I had to go for it. He just toxic, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, okay. 
Why does it switch into this though? What do we do to this? That is, that is question. We know that he's mostly uh, physical. Mostly physical. Full HP probably, something around there, but not too defensive. We do a lot. Like, we don't guarantee to take him out, but we do a lot. So I am clicking heat waves so fast. Because he, Charizard is a switch in. And Charizard, we can click um, Ancient Power on the next turn. So. <sighs> yeah. That must be, that must be the best course of action. Okay, we, we, we can connect with the heat wave. So I'm like six. Oh, okay. Five. Five percent. Yes, yes, five percent. <sighs> that is unfortunate, but that means the Rotom is basically gone. And can we get rocks up? Like, that thing is actually dead. So, that's pretty nice. <sighs> if you got Shares up, we just have to stay in. I was so low key just hoping, like, I could see on the calcs that I would need a high roll. But I was low key hoping anyway. That was kind of. Oh, it's rough. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Let's see. Like, Heracross doesn't want to come in because it gets bodied by Heatwave. Skarmory doesn't want to get in and it gets bodied by Thunderbolt. Kragonal... It doesn't get bodied, but I, I actually don't know. How does Kragonal take a hit? Um, special Defensive Spinner said... We actually don't too sure that. That's Charizard. I am clicking Asian Power so fast. <coughs> I have to. I have to. Would have been lovely to get up rocks. Would have been lovely, but we have to. We have to click. We have to click it. I can do nothing else. <laughs> I cannot allow Charizard to sit up, because if Charizard sits up, I lose. Especially if it gets to plus two, because then Psychon stops. sped and it's just sad times. Honestly. Honestly, just sad times. I wish that I could roost, but I he doesn't actually have like Scammer is the only thing I can really roost up on. Rotom too. I can also roost up on Rotom. He Mega Evolves? Understandable. As you should. He kind of has to. He kind of has to. Dragon Dance? We outspeed, he is bulky. He is also quite bulky. He dragon dances. He's like at 55% right now. <sighs> Whoop! <laughs> Ugh. How fat is he for that to do that little? He's quite fat. I can say that. It's just not, this is not just a little bit bulky, Charizard. So this is quite bulky. My calc, you are broken. My calc just broke. Is that the ancient power does thirteen percent? I disagree. What? Okay, thank you. But you do like 45? That's like more than max HP. Or low roll. I click Ancient Power. It does mean Zapdos goes down, but... I... What else do you want me to do, man? So I could be scalped. He doesn't know. Did I change moves? Yes, I did. I did. I'm not scalped. He knows I'm not scalped. <sighs> Let us see. This is sticky. Like, he has to. He could also roost, but that's kind of dangerous because he's, he's risking me getting a boost. And if I get a boost, I outspeed him, and I definitely. I mean, I've taken so many boxes, so it actually turns out I think it will be like a double down, but I. <laughs> if I can trade Septos for Charizard, I will not complain, but I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can. So I think he has to kill Septos. Fliplets, okay. Well, Septos is going down. Static. That would be quite optimistic. Nope. Uh, okay. I mean, it's pretty... Yeah. <sighs> 
I have to go serious, and he kind of kind of knows that. Also, Zepdos died. I have to put that on. That is quite an issue. <sighs> Actually, like Rosen dies anyway. I'm from switching, so he can't really switch into that. I don't know what he has for like Heracross. I mean, yeah, Heracross does switch in. Yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> It does. It does switch in, but I don't know how how much to, how how much would that Heracross take? Here at Cross Sword Stance, it does like at eighty eight percent, right? Something around. I I don't know. Like it's it's around ninety or something. I love this right now. It's close enough. Not a lot. I mean, it'll do like thirty ish. We'll do like 30-ish. Okay, actually let's chairs that go down. That's quite nice. Okay. Oh. Bye, Psygod. I did spill I, I just spell Psygod so wrong that it's not even funny. Um that's no, that was the wrong one. That one. I know my layout. Ha ha ha. Okay, here goes Heracross. I, I I do the same. I go Dawn Fan. Like it's the only thing I can do. Because because I I don't know. I I lost my train of thought. I mean I don't have anything else to switch in. That's that's simple. Like I have things to revenge it, Diancy. <laughs> but nothing else. On a good note, he doesn't have any switch into Diancy. Doesn't have a switch into Diancy. <sighs> I'm a little bit surprised I didn't sack the Rosam. I, I I will admit. Like the, the six five-ish percent. Okay, close combats. Does a heck of a lot. Last time I played Roft. He's at that's 80, that's right under 90. Um we have Dawn Fan in. Where's my Dawn Fan? Dawn Fan! Dawn Fan. Heracruz. Like, I feel like I just have to play rough again, which does not feel good. <laughs> Doesn't feel good. Do, 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 do. But I feel like I have to, because he can go scammery, but what's my scammery was in? Incineral? Kinda? Like, that's a thing. He knows I have play rough. He's a minus one. He could also have 50%, but it doesn't really matter if he goes into something like Scammery because it's immune anyway. So it'd be more like going for a knockoff. A knockoff does nothing to this thing. And it does nothing to physical defense of Scammery anyway. Okay. He's scuffed. No, he's not. Is he jolly? Okay. Chaos Donvan, Donvan, you failed me again. I okay, let me see. Heracross, because that that's a bit that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> we were supposed to have speed with bloody choice scout. Yeah, this is why you don't speak creepers be creep, because that's that's that goes wrong. Um Cool, we go to Hansi because it's all we can do. <sighs> we are pretty free to click Power Gem though. I mean, he can just sack the, the bloody thing and get into. I don't know what he would go into. I don't know. Um, that is a down fast Heracross. Also, Donphan died without doing anything again. Just like the practice matches. Oh, Donphan, you're shit. No, no, you're not shit. You're just slightly bad. 
You're just bad. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's it's my fault. This Arcos is like at 82%. Um, he does withdraw it. Understandable. Louise. Sex to Rosam. Understandable too. <laughs> Which one is that? This one? Nope. That's one. Yes. Okay. Hey. Oh. By Diancy. Also, people stop writing and I will remove sound. I don't think you actually heard it, but still. Still, 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 still. What would you go into? Scammery? Coco? Coco Scammery. One of those? One of those! Yes, do it! Do it, do it! Threaten my resurrection stone. Threaten it. The... Mm, the problem is... <sighs> How much does our rage do to... Scammery? We don't know that it's physically defensive. It could be specially defensive for this thing. It does nothing. That is Scammery. Would you predict me? Would you predict me? <laughs> I, I, mm. Do I even two shot it? If 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 he's like careful? No, not if he's like fully special defensive. The problem is that this thing probably has whirlwind because Suicune is a problem, so I can't sit up on this thing. I can always sit up on Kragonal. Actually, I can only sit up on Kragonal. Is the answer necessary? Yeah, because it threatens the Heracross. How important is Psygarde? How much does Psygarde do to Kragonal? Kragonal? Decent chunk. Doesn't one shot it though. I kind of want to read him just going. He's not going to go for an Iron Head. <laughs> That's my loss. Lose me the game. He goes for spikes. Okay. Magic bounce. Take those spikes and put them on your own side. <laughs> because we are playing real games here. <laughs> we are playing so real games that it's not even gamey. We got spikes for free. I'm not complaining. <laughs> it was so much banging on me twitching. Oh. Huh. <laughs> My heart is pounding. <laughs> so much calling it. It's just like Lantern doesn't take. Like Lantern doesn't care about Iron Head. Incineral doesn't care about Iron Head. You're not getting up your spikes. No, 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 no. I am going to kick Podium. And you are going to find... Do something or find something to eat it. And you just take it down. Okay. Okay. Oh. Bye. Die. Ancy. Nice. That I needed. <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess you go Coco? Coco? Coco, Coco, Coco. No, that's not Coco. That's Kragonal. What do you want to do? What do you do to me? Little cry, I don't know. You, you eat my hits. Do you get flash cannon? I'm going to check. <laughs> I'm not letting Diane die if I don't have to, because Diane's is actually pretty important. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <sighs> Cree or Do you get any steel moves? Yes, you do. I am switching out so fast. He could just wrap a spin, but that's I'm actually so, sort of kind of okay with that because now Incineroar can actually kind of can actually kind of sit up. Can actually kind of sit up. Because he he did wrap a spin? Okay, flash cannons, that's that's fine. How much does it do? We are 74. That did 20. Flash. Cannon. I will click Dag MC. And I will click. Sea snatch. 
I'm about to go all in on this. Uh, because you're not switching into Coco now. There's no way. You have to let this thing die, right? Right? Right. Okay. Okay. We get the cheese snatch off. What are we snatching? I don't know what we're snatching. Actually, you never use these snatch, but I'm quite alright with it. Flash cannon. Are you choiced? You could be choiced. Ooh. I mean, I'm not complaining. How much do we need for Coco? Because right now we are plus two speed. Tapu, Coco. It only needs to outspeed Psygod, I don't know. I'll just put some number in and I just hope for the best. Let's just put 156. Yeah, that sounds, seems like a good number. Um, if we get to plus two attack... We don't actually one-shot here. We have a chance. Like, again, it depends on his spread, so I we just click Source Dance. We just watch this unfold. Yeah, he, he's scuffed. He's scuffed. So we can actually get to plus two attack. We can get to plus two attack. We can get to plus two. I think we do that. Unless Coco scarfed. If Coco scarfed, he got me. Because now I just click fire punch three times otherwise. If Coco scarfed, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry literal tears. We click Fire Punch. We click Fire Punch. Okay, still living. He is not. That's a very dead, very dead Kragonal. Okay, old by Insin. Oh, also Koka takes the spike, so I might actually not have needed this. <laughs> Are you scarfed? Will you tell me if you're scuffed? I mean, you are telling me if you're scuffed, actually. Quite clearly, because if you kill me, you are... Then you are quite scuffed. But we'll see, we'll see. We will see in a moment if you're scuffed or if you're not. You're not, so you're dead. Yes? Yes. Okay, oh. Bye, Insin. I'm so glad that we got this one off. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, that feels pretty good. <laughs> because again, we just we just click fire punch. We just click fire punch, and the general will pick up the game. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh, I'm already writing it. Heracross. <gasps> okay. So we do pick up a 4 win here in the second week. Feels pretty good. But I mean, go will play it well because it had it was a lot of finessing to get into the position. So good game to him and thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, keep cool. Bye.